There's a truth that romance writers know. All secrets are based in grief or pleasure. Researchers from Columbia University found the average person keeps 13 secrets at a time, five of which they've never told to anybody. Which means the average person has eight secrets that aren't really secrets. But who are we telling them to? People like this guy. My name is Brandon Hall. I live in Nashville, Tennessee. I've done uh, probably three or 4,000 rides doing Uber and Lyft combined. And why would you trust a guy like Brandon? Probably the main part of it is that they think that they'll probably never, ever see you again. I think in all the rides I've ever taken, I may have picked up the same person twice. Whether or not it makes sense to tell a complete stranger intimate details of our lives, we do it all the time. Every time we cash a check at the bank, go through the checkout line at the grocery, or secretly buy eggs despite loudly proclaiming that we're vegan, We're sharing little things about who we are with those whom we come in contact with. We make a conscious choice to trust strangers with intimate details of our lives, based purely on the belief that our secrets are safe with them. One woman, she said that she went to some birthday party, got trash drunk, had like $60 worth of Taco Bell, ate all of it. $60 buys a lot of tacos. Maybe that's not a big deal. She said, I took the biggest shit I've ever taken in my life. Or maybe it is. And she went into detail about it, like how dirty it was and just stricken with diarrhea and all kinds of stuff. It was horrible. But Brandon has perspective. It's just something that I wouldn't say around other people. I certainly wouldn't say it in front of someone I've never met before. By day, he works emergency dispatch for Nashville police, fire, and medical. 200 plus calls a day by myself. I think I've probably processed over a million calls one way or another by myself. And he's heard a lot of secrets. A lot of times when we get a call for an ambulance, they'll ask for us to not put on lights or sirens. They don't want to alert their neighbors that this is happening. They want to keep it a secret. It's almost as if Brandon himself is social media. Because like social media, people share everything with him. Whether he wants them to or not. It's like being on Facebook all the time. They have to talk nonstop about everything. It doesn't matter what it is. And sometimes they overshare. This woman, she got in the car and almost immediately goes off like she just lost her job. She's getting divorced. Her kids are living with their dad. There's just all kinds of stuff that's going on with this woman's life and getting an Uber because her car broke down on top of all that other stuff. The question still remains. Why do we choose to trust strangers with our most intimate secrets? Is it simply because we believe them to be good people? Or is it because our humanity compels us to reach out, to form a connection, to establish rapport with every person we meet? Because we hope that our next connection will be an everlasting one. Maybe it's that, despite knowing hundreds, even thousands of people via social media, we're still so starved of real intimacy that we desperately grasp at the smallest opportunity to connect. Or is it simply because they think that they'll never, ever see you again? 